It is in the Malwo family, so it's in the same family as cotton and hibiscus. The okra is really good for um, fiber and a lot of the B vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin K, and a lot of different minerals. It does produce a slime, and that doesn't mean that it's bad, but one thing that the slime does that is nice is it binds cholesterol, very similar to fiber. You can just wash them. Some people actually use them whole in stews and things like that. Um, I kind of like to cut them up. Um, I don't particularly like this part <laughs> down here because it's a, a little bit tougher, but um, I don't know if you've ever had, I shouldn't promote this to eat too often, but deep fried okra is delicious. And there's a lot of different stews that you can make. Um, and they're also delicious roasted as well. And this is related to celery and also carrots. Um, this plant in particular is cultivated uh, not for its stock like celery, but for this, this root part. And um, this is really high in vitamin K, B6, phosphorus, and a surprising amount of vitamin C2. And when you prep this, if you have a really sturdy uh, peeler, what you can do is just kind of cut off the nubs, the nub parts with your knife, and then peel off this part. And then you end up with sort of a cream color flesh. It smells like celery. It tastes like celery. <laughs> So it does have a lot of fiber in it, and it's also got vitamin K, which is really good for wound healing and cardiac health, and it's got vitamin B6, which is really great for you know your cognitive function, and phosphorus, which is great for your bones and teeth, and vitamin C, which is a wonderful antioxidant. Right, so this plant is actually sort of a wild cabbage plant and it's related to kale and cauliflower and broccoli. And so it does kind of have that sulfury taste. Kohlrabi has an amazing amount of vitamin C in it. It actually has more than oranges have. Um, it also has a lot of vitamin B6 and fiber and a lot of different minerals. So what you want to do to prepare it is you want to cut off the leafy stems here and then you want to peel off the woody part and then you're, you're left with the part that's actually kind of like this color down below and you can slice it up and you can, you can, um, you, you can eat it raw, you can make a slaw out of it. Some people make fritters out of it, which is kind of fun. You can kind of shred it up and then make it into um, fritter-like patties or you could use it like a, uh, you could roast it, you could make purees out of it, um, you can make wonderful soups. I would say um, to try and add them where you can because you can make a lot of the common foods that you may eat. Like let's say that you want to make mashed potatoes or maybe a gratin or something. Something like this would be really delicious. It adds like a, a different flavor that you wouldn't expect and it also contributes more um, vitamins and minerals. It also varies your gut flora, which is really important for, for your gut health, which we um, are finding out more and more is really uh, important for the health in the rest of your body as well.